please be sure to watch our first video on 5G Business Internet Device Management with ThingSpace Manage on ThingSpace.com Tutorials and Videos page. Prerequisites include, you must have a ThingSpace account. 5G Business Internet price plans must be onboarded. Address qualification for 5G is required. You must have a 5G Business Internet capable device and SIM. You must acquire your access and session tokens. Finally, you must register for two callbacks, intelligence service for 5G C-band address qualification and carrier service for 5G BI activation. Now, let's take a look at the C-band address qualification API. Please note, you will need to register for the intelligence service callback. The first API will be for C-band qualification at a specific address. In the body section, the following parameters include the account name, the request type, which will be fixed wireless access or FWA, and the location type, address. Next will be the physical address that you are qualifying for C-band coverage. Finally, the network type, in this case, C-band. After clicking send, you will receive a synchronous request ID. Use this ID to match the asynchronous response on your callback. Looking at the callback response, we can see that for the given address, the qualified field shows true. Next, let's take a look at the activation API for 5G Business Internet. Remember, you will need to register for the carrier service callback. Looking at the activation API for 5G Business Internet, parameters include account name and service plan, the device IDs including the IMEI and ICC ID, the service address, and the carrier name and MDN zip code. Checking the asynchronous callback response, we can see that the activation was successful. The device state is showing active and the status is showing success. Now, let's take a look at qualifying an invalid 5G address for C-band. We will make the same API call with a new address. Now, let's match up our new request ID with our callback. Looking at the new callback, we can see that our qualified field is now showing false. And the reason is showing that the address is not qualified for 5G coverage. Even though the device does not qualify for 5G coverage, you can activate it on a 4G service plan. Then, you can change to a 5G service plan once the device qualifies for 5G C-band coverage. Let's take a look at how we can perform a change service plan in ThingSpace. Body parameters include the account name and service plan that you will be changing to, the device ID, the physical address of the device location, and the current service plan that you will be changing from. Looking at the asynchronous callback, we can see that this action was successful with a timestamp for effective date.